Hello and welcome back to Robbie's Arcade. Well, it's time for another Street Fighter game. There's going to be a lot of them. Let's face it, there's been a hell of a lot of Street Fighter games over the years. But this is one that was another big experiment from Capcom. Probably one of the earliest experiments they ever did, to my knowledge, was when they did the crossover games with the likes of the X-Men, Marvel, and basically Marvel vs. Capcom overall. But, do you know that there was actually a 3D Street Fighter? It was... It didn't make much of an impact, even though they made three whole games in the series. Most Street Fighter players kind of sweep this aside. EX, um, Street Fighter EX or EX Plus or EX Plus 2, EX Plus Alpha or EX3, all of these games that were released during the 90s kind of had a weird mixed reputation. It was Capcom's attempt to break into the 3D gaming market. Now we're going to talk about that more in the trivia later in the game, but without further ado, let's get ourselves into Street Fighter EX, which by the way has so many new characters it's hard to keep track of. But as is standard, we are going to go straight for Ryu. I have no idea who Hakuto is, but she does feature in later games as well. I do remember seeing her in other games, but one of the earliest features about this game straight away is the attitude towards that hurricane kick because now you have to do the motion for every single one of them. So instead of just pressing the button uh, down to back once, now we have to press down and back for every single kick. So we can actually shorten the length of that move. But, whoa. Now, I like a dramatic super move and I do like the Tekken-esque replay there. But my god, a meteorite? That's mental. As you may have noticed, I've set this to one round uh, per bout. Largely because this game by default is set to five. Which again, I don't know whether that was to get people playing it for longer so they got more of their money's worth in an effort to get them to commit to the game more. Who knows? But I ch decided to change it not from the default five. Now, are we going to com complete these moves? There's no denying it. The the you know the essential makeup of Street Fighter is here, but it's almost unrecognisable. The camera work, the attitudes to the I mean the music as well is very different to what we're used to it in a Street Fighter game. Oh, and even that that wonderful knockback effect. Truth be told, actually. We'll give this one more round and then I'll give you the trivia because there is some interesting stories behind this game. For a start, I don't remember there ever being a Persian character in a Street Fighter game. And there's our lovely meteorite background again. But let's pause and give you some of the trivia for this game because... Once again, this is a virtually unseen Street Fighter game for big hardcore gaming followers that just think Street Fighter is a 2D game. It was this, there was so much hype, so much development put into it, and then it was kind of abandoned. The next time we saw a 3D Street Fighter game would be the rather laughable Street Fighter X Tekken, and even then, it was a low dimension 3D fighting game. It was 2D using 3D sprites. This was the first and probably one of the only true series of 3D Street Fighter games. Now, it was released compared to a lot of Street Fighter games of its ilk quite late in 1996, namely December 19th, 1996 in arcades. Again, a very, very late release for an arcade game. Um, it was published by Capcom, who also developed it. However, due to the 3D technology, they needed a little bit of help and in stepped Virgin Interactive, a big, big name. Uh, everyone's heard of Virgin, you know, uh, good old Branson sticking their finger in every pie. But the 3D technology, they really helped hone this game for the home user markets as well, particularly the PlayStation 1 version, version Street Fighter EX Plus Alpha that I personally played. Um, the team originally thought about giving uh, a number of characters their own quirks that change throughout the game because they've noticed a lot of 3D games had a lot more depth in uh, terms of the characters' graphics and the animations because they were free to do 
a lot more elaborate things in 3D. So the character Darun Mister, one of the characters there, the big guy, um, his ability to grow a moustache more and more with each victory, but they soon abandoned this because they thought no one would appreciate it, and if they did do something like that, they'd have to do it for all the other characters. Um, two of the unlockable characters in the game, uh, Blair Dame and Alan Snyder, um, appear in non-Capcom related games as well. There's a game called Fighting Layer. It was created by the same uh, developers, Akira, another people of uh, the team behind this, and published eventually by Namco. Namco, big, big names in 3D games from games like Tekken and Soul Calibur. Interesting, neither of these characters ever appear again in EX titles or any other Street Fighter game. So presumably those licenses and the rights to them were completely purchased by Namco and consequently dumped afterwards. Uh, in the Japanese version of Street Fighter EX, um, D Dark, the kind of ninja -y mask guy, um, he has a move where he would grab the opponent, strap them in explosives and throw them and then they blow up on fire. Unsurprisingly, this got removed um, later on in the international version of the game and home consoles because it was deemed far, far too violent. Likewise, he also has another move that was completely censored, which was replaced by him grabbing the character, going behind them, and slitting their throat. Now, in the home version of the game, there is something not dissimilar to that, but nowhere near as violent. The original code for the motion can be found in the game's files, but it doesn't exist in any playable version of the game. Um, and also, during the 1990s, one of the main reasons this game came about is because up until the mid-90s, 2D beat-em-up games, and particularly Capcom series of 2D fighting games, ruled the market. No one could touch them. When they weren't doing Street Fighter games, they were doing the Marvel crossover games, they were doing Darkstalkers, they were doing all manner of games, and their Street Fighter Alpha series likewise were doing very well indeed. But they'd started seeing that games like Virtua Fighter and Tekken had really started to capture the public's imagination. Hence, Street Fighter X. They decided to bring this in with the help of Akira and for home versions, of course, Virgin Interactive. However, it should be stated that um, Capcom have distanced themselves quite a lot in terms of story. The story of Street Fighter EX is considered completely non-canon. Evident from Garuda to all the character relations in this game and their motivations are deemed non-canon. So it's nothing to do with the plot of Street Fighter. Capcom have washed their hands of it. And lastly, the last version of this game was Street Fighter EX3, which didn't even make it into the arcade. It went straight to the PS2 as an exclusive. And one of the things that made it attractive was it was a tag team game. They incorporated that tag team technology. Likewise, Namco at the time also did their own version of a tag team game. They took Tekken 3 and made Tekken Tag Tournament. But the tag team version of this game did very well indeed. But again, that was the end of the line of EX games. So let's go back into it. But it's a nice, attractive-looking game, there's no denying it. Uh, the last boss, Garuda, is made available as a playable character along with Akuma in the PlayStation version. I have no idea who this Western guy is. With a baseball bat, no less. Oh. He's some sort of equivalent of Balrog or Vega, depending on your country you live in. Didn't even get a Super Dukin. Now you may have noticed, even though the primary graphics are 3D, the backgrounds are of course 2D. This isn't new. Tekken was doing that for a long time, as was Soul Calibur and Virtua Fighter. This isn't something that's, you know, should really be complained about. Due to the limitations of the technology, it's hardly surprising that this happened. Well, let's see if we can get... No, why bother? Let's just kick her in the head. No, awful thing. Don't do that. Not recommended, don't try this. And that's D Dark. Let's see if he's going to try any of those throws so we can get a better idea about these moves that were removed. But little things like the inclusion of a water level, something that has never been seen before in a Street Fighter game. Look at that, we've got the huge kickback of that fireball and the meteorite. Can't argue with that one. And Zangief who was given quite a huge reach in this game. He was, I think he had to be um, kind of gibbed down a little bit later on just because his character was made just overwhelmingly strong. Well, Fireball didn't get him anyway, but there we go. There's no denying this game is playable. 
Okay, let's go for this. Oh, no air block. And we've got the throw there. Nice angle on the throws as well. Fair play to the game for that. Oh, I'll be honest, that should have connected. I'm a little disappointed in the game for that one. Oh, kick to the face, Ken. Disappointing, mate. Disappointing. M. Bison. Well, we are looking at the last boss of the game. There is two versions of this boss, and the latter version is crazy. There we go, and Bison took one to the face. Not bad. Not too shabby, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we get for our pleasure. We get the ending. We get how I killed every single character with some credits. Well, there you go. For the first time on Robbie's Arcade, we've actually completed a game ad hoc. And look at that. It's been just over 10 minutes. So... I hope you enjoy Street Fighter EX. Me personally, it is a good game and it was a great experiment by Capcom and I'm glad they did it. But there's still no denying it clearly didn't work that well. Otherwise, we'd have seen a lot more 3D Street Fighter games. Um, now, me personally, I'm going to try and get the other um, Street Fighter games on this channel as soon as possible just to see how they all iron out, uh, compare. But this has been Street Fighter EX on Robbie's Arcade. If you have enjoyed it, please do go down into the comments and let me know and let me know the other games that you want to see on this channel. Take that in the face, M. Bison. But otherwise, thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time.